Hey guys, Tim here with part two of our creating uh, custom PHP MySQL forum tutorial series. And in this lesson, we're going to be creating the forum database structure using PHP MyAdmin and displaying the categories from the database below. From part one, all we did was create our username and password login. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And that still works. You're logged in. So, first thing we need to do is we're going to jump over to PHP MyAdmin in my forum series uh, database. We're going to create a new table. We're going to call it categories with number of fields equal to 5. Hit go. First field we're going to create is an ID. We're going to give it uh, a numeric tiny int with a value of 4. We're going to scroll over and make sure we got our index as primary and auto increment selected. Next field we're going to create is category underscore title that is going to be a varchar of 150 the next field is going to be category underscore description that is going to be a varchar of 255 next field is last post date and that is going to be a date time field and that will we can leave that null and the last one will be last underscore user underscore posted and that will also be an integer of value of 11 and we're going to choose null I'm going to go ahead and create this table hit save and you can see we have our five fields right here we're going to go back to the forum series I'm going to create another table and call it topics. Number of fields is eight. And hit go. Field one is ID integer of eleven. Scroll over. Oops. Scrolling problems. Scroll over. Make sure we have our auto increment and index key as primary. Next field is going to be category underscore ID, and that will be. A, a tiny integer of 4. Next one is topic underscore title varchar of 150. Next is topic underscore creator. It'll be an integer of 11. After that is going to be topic underscore last user. That will be an integer of 11. Then we have topic underscore date. That will be a date time. After that we have topic underscore reply date. And that also will be a date time. And then we have topic views underscore views. We have an integer of 11. And we're going to set a default value as defined of zero. Scroll down, hit save. Okay, go back to our form series database, create one more table, and call it posts. Number of fields is six. First one, we have ID, integer, it's fine, of 11. Scroll over, make sure it's auto increment and primary key. Next field is category underscore ID. Tiny integer. Four. Topic ID underscore ID. That will be an integer of 11. Then we have post underscore creator. Integer of 11. Post underscore content. That will be a text field. And then we have, finally, we have post underscore date. And that will be a date time field. Go ahead and hit go or save on the bottom. And now you can see we have users, topic, posts, and categories. We need to make a couple changes to our user table, so go ahead and go into user table. I'm going to go into the structure. And we're going to add two fields. 
we'll just do at the end of the table is fine. Hit go. First field we need is email. Since our form is going to have email capability, we're going to want our users to have an email address. We're going to do varchar of 255. And we can allow that to be null if you'd like, just for now. And last one will just be forum notify. Or no, I'm sorry, notification. Forum notification. And that will be an enum field type. And our length and value is single quote zero, single quote, comma, single quote, one, single quote. And the default we're going to put as defined is equal to one. Hit save. And now you can see we have two more fields, email and form notification. If we go to browse, you can see that I have no email and my forward notification is one. I'm just going to edit my details real quick. I'm just going to put my password in. Or, I'm sorry, not my password, my email. I'm just going to say admin at timkiptutorials.com. Hit go. And now you can see my email address is in there. So, the next thing we need to do is we're going to insert. Oops, we're going to go back into Dreamweaver. And we're going to get all of our categories that show up right underneath this horizontal bar. And if you've noticed, there is a difference between part one of our next page and part two. The only thing I did was below the closing div I added a horizontal line break right there. So underneath the horizontal line break we're going to open and close a div tag. We're going to give it ID equal to content and then inside the content tag we're just going to put all of our code. First thing we need to do is open and close our PHP brackets and we're going to include our connection file for our database so we can access that data. So our file is connect dot php after that we're going to just run start querying out our, into our database sql equals select all from categories oops order by category underscore title. And we're going to go ascending A S C. For that we're going to query it out with res equals mysql underscore query of our SQL variable or die mysql error. And we're going to do an if statement if the mysql num rows of our result is greater than zero, we're going to do this. Or else, if there is no results turned, that means there are no categories in the database, we're going to do this. So let's take care of that first. We're going to say echo, open and close quotes, semicolon, type in a paragraph tag, there are no categories available yet. Now if we go ahead and save this, we're going to go over here to Google Chrome and refresh our page. We should get it saying, oops, we have an error here on line 33 it looks like. We have right there. Save that again, let's try refreshing that again. Okay, errors went away and we have no categories are available yet. I'm going to continue coding back up here within our if statement. We're going to go inside the curly brackets and we're going to type while dollar sign row is equal to the mysql underscore fetch associ of our result. Open and close curly braces. Inside the while loop, we're going to do dollar sign id variable is equal to row of id. After that, we're going to do title is equal to the row of cat category underscore title and then description is equal to row category underscore description and now we'll start printing out our or adding our categories to our variable we're just going to define a, a variable 
up here before the if statement where it's going to open a variable called categories and we're just going to give it an empty value and down here under the description we're going to open up that categories value again and say dot equals to that means it will append the data to it and inside of there we're going to just put a link we're going to say a href equals so make sure you're doing single quotes we're just going to leave it blank for now because we already don't have a page to link it to and I'm just going to give it a class equal to cat underscore links. I'm just going to apply some style to it real quick. Close off our link tag. And inside of there, we're going to open uh, two double quotes. And inside there, we're going to put two periods. And we're going to put our title tag in. So what this will do is it will print our link to be the title of our category. And then inside here, we're going to put a space, hyphen, and then we're just going to do font size is equal to negative 1. Open and close that. Close off our font. And then inside of the font brackets, or font tags, two double quotes again inside periods, we're just going to put our description. So this will make the text a little smaller so it sort of differentiates between the title and the description. That should be it. And then right under the while loop, we want to echo our categories variable. Let's go ahead and save this and refresh. Make sure we have no errors. We have no errors, so we're going to go back over here to our phpMyAdmin. We're going to go into our categories table and insert some data. Title of test category one. I'm just going to give it a description. This is the first test category. And we can leave these two because they are null. We'll access them later when we are doing posts and stuff like that. We're just going to say for our next one, we're going to say random form. And put this is a random forum category. And we're going to hit go. Both of these have been inserted. If we go back to browse, both of those have been inserted. If we go on back here to Google Chrome on our uh, tutorial page, we're going to hit refresh. And you can see they're laid out right next to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some styling to this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I'm going to refresh the page. And as you can see, they laid out just like this, and just like in our introduction, you're going to start uh, seeing the style where you hover over and they change colors. And it gives them a more defined look. What I did was, you remember how we assigned the class to our link of uh, under cat underscore links? In our style sheet that we referenced up here, our style.css, what I did was I just added some color style to all of our link tags. It'll keep them blue, no matter if you visit them or not. And then right here we put, for our cat links class, which is defined by this period right here, we set a display equal to block, a padding of 5 pixels around the whole edge, and then we specified for the top and bottom padding, we wanted a 10 pixel padding, a 1 pixel solid uh, black border around the edge, a 5 pixel uh, margin from the bottom of each link, and background color of a light gray, and the text color is black. And then when you hover over, it changes the uh, background color to a lighter um, gray color, almost closer to white. So that's where we're at right now at the end of part two. As you can see, you can log out, log in still. And there you go. In part three, we will display the topics within each category, and we will start creating topics. Thank you. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, check out my... Uh, website as well, timkiptutorials.com. I uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.